Here are the 10 tailwind hover effects that will make your websites look much better. Number 1. Gradient button hover. To create this hover effect, you're gonna create a button and it is going to have a background gradient that goes from left to right and when you hover over it, you're gonna flip it and we are going to do it in a really smooth way. Let's create a button. It is going to be positioned relatively. PX6 and PY3. Font weight is going to be semi-bold. Text white rounded corners, gonna hide the overflow and we're gonna use the group class to be able to create simultaneous hover effects. Let's create a gradient from left to right. It is going to start from purple 500 and it's gonna go to pink 500 and cursor is going to be pointer on hover. To create the gradient animation, we're gonna use two span elements. They are going to be positioned absolute, so they are going to be positioned relatively to this button. We're gonna set to inset to zero, which will basically set top, left, right, and bottom to zero. We're gonna use the exact same gradient for this one. We're gonna use a transition, which is going to be opacity. Duration is going to be 500. And when you group hover, we're gonna set the opacity to zero. And let's copy and paste this. And we are going to flip the gradient from pink to purple. Right after the second span, we're going to create a third one, which is going to have a text inside. It is going to be positioned relatively. We're going to make sure this text stays on top of the other spans. So we're going to set the Z index to 10. Transition transform. Duration 300. And there you go. We have the gradient transition. We basically hide the first span. And then after hiding it, we display the second one, which basically creates this smooth transition between gradients. Number two, card hover effect. To create this card hover effect, you're gonna create a simple card with a little drop shadow. And when you hover over it, you're gonna increase the drop shadow. Let's create a div and set the width to 64 and height to 72. Gonna set the background to gray 50. Gonna create a little border. Gonna make the border gray 100. It is going to be a flex container so we can center the text. Let's give it rounded corners and a shadow medium. When you hover over it, gonna increase the shadow to 2x large. Let's use the transform class name. And on hover, we're gonna move this card to the top using minus translate y to. Let's use transition all and set the duration to 300. Gonna use ease linear transition and give it a padding of four. Inside, let's say hover to lift. And there you go. Number three, underline hover effect. For this one, you're going to create this text and there's going to be a underline hover effect that basically expands from middle to left and right. Let's create a anchor tag and set the position to relative. Going to make the text bigger, set the font to semi bold and text to blue 600. To create this hover effect, we're going to use something called a pseudo element, which is going to be after the content is going to be empty and it is going to be positioned absolute. We're going to set its position from left to 50% and it is going to be positioned at the bottom. We're going to set its width to zero and its height to two pixels and it is going to have a color of background below 600. Let's also give it a transition to make it smooth and a duration as well. And when you hover over this after pseudo elements, you're gonna set the width to 100%, which was zero at the beginning. And we're also going to set its position on hover to left zero, which was left 50% at the beginning. Finally, let's write some text inside. And there you go. Number four, zooming image hover effect. To create this hover effect, you're gonna have this image and when you hover over it, you are going to zoom in inside the image just a little bit. Let's create a div and put the image inside. Let's set the divs overflow to hidden. Let's give it some rounded corners and a drop shadow. The image is going to have a width of 500 pixels, height full, object cover, so we can set the image inside this div properly. And we're gonna have a transition of transform with a duration of 400. And when you hover over this image, you're gonna increase the scale to 110. And there you go. Number five, black overlay hover effects. So just like the one before, we're gonna have a image. 
and when you hover over it you're gonna have this black overlay with some text inside let's create a div with its position set to relative and this time we're gonna use the group class name we're gonna set the overflow to hidden let's give it some rounded corners and a drop shadow inside let's put the image we're gonna set the width to 500 pixels height full and object cover so right next to this image we're gonna create a div and this will be the overlay it is going to be positioned absolute inset will be set to zero and it is going to be black we're gonna set the opacity to zero and using group hover we're gonna set it to 100 percent let's make it a flex container so we can center the text inside let's use transition opacity for the hover effect and set the duration to 400 text white increase the font and make the text large and inside we're gonna have this text and as you can see it works perfectly number six blurry image hover effect this one is one of my favorites blurry to clear image as you can see we have this image with the blurry overlay on top of it and when you hover over it we basically hide that overlay and the image becomes clear to create this one let's create a div and give it some rounded corners you're gonna hide the overflow and create a backdrop blur effect which will be set to medium inside let's place the image we're gonna set the width to 500 we also gonna have a blurry filter over this image as well so let's set it to extra small and when you hover over it gonna delete the blur let's use transition all and duration 300 to make it smooth let's see if it works and it works beautifully number seven gradient text hover effect to be able to create this one we're gonna have a gradient text and we're basically gonna have this white layer on top of it and we're gonna move it from left to right let's create a div and set a border padding top and bottom two and padding on the left and right four then let's give it some rounded corners inside we're gonna have a paragraph that says hover over this text gonna make it a lot bigger set the font to bold and let's give this text a gradient effect we can do it by creating a background gradient to right from purple 500 to pink 500 gonna make the text transparent and we're gonna clip it to the background and to make it smooth we're gonna use transition this one is going to be really slow so let's set the duration to 700 Next, we're gonna create the reveal effect, which will be really simple. We're basically gonna create a background and we're gonna set a length 0% by 100%. So the first value is the width and second one is the height. So this background basically has no width, but it has a 100% height and we're gonna position it to left. And let's also prevent it by repeating. And when you hover over this box, you're gonna set the width to 100% and the height is going to stay 100%. Let's see. And there you go. Number eight, glowing button hover effect. To create this hover effect, we're gonna have this simple button and when you hover over it, we're basically gonna have this drop shadow, but the shadow is going to have a pink color. So it will look like a neon glowing button. Let's create a button and set its position to relative px8 and py4 the background is going to be black and text is going to be white let's set the font to semi bold and give it some rounded corners let's use transition duration 300 a border and if you're going to make the border transparent at first then you hover over going to make the border pink 500 and if you're going to set the cursor to a pointer and to create the neon glowing effect when you hover over it you're gonna use shadow again inside you're gonna have this pink colored shadow let's put some text inside and let's see and there you go number nine button hover with animated background for this hover effect you're gonna have a simple button and its background is going to change color by sliding from right to left and it is going to become green Let's create a button and set its position to relative. Hide the overflow px6 and py3. Font semi bold. Gonna set the text to green 500 and create a two pixel border. 
let's set the border to 500 and give it some rounded corners we're gonna use the group class name and cursor pointer inside you're gonna have two span elements second one is going to have a text inside the first one is going to be for creating the background animation let's set its position to absolute in set to zero gonna make this gonna give it a background green 500 so this background is going to move from right to left so on the x axis so we can set translate x to full which is basically going to move this background to right by its entire width and when you group hover over this button we're basically going to move it back to its original position and let's use transition transform set the duration to 500 and the transition is going to be is in and out let's position this text relatively and make sure it stays on top of everything else we also got to change the color of this text as well so on group hover we're going to set it to text white this text only going to be changing colors so transition colors and duration 500 and there is a little typo here this is going to be group hover let's see and there you go it works perfectly number 10 check mark hover effect so this one is a pretty simple one we have this button with a slide in check mark animation when you hover over it we basically have this little emoji that comes in let's create a button and give it the group class name set its position to relative and let's make it a flex container so we can center the items inside gonna hide the overflow px6 and py3 gonna set the background to indigo 600 set the text to white and font to semi bold gonna give it rounded corners so rounded large transition duration 300 and when you hover over it gonna make the background indigo 700 cursor pointer inside we're gonna have two spans first one is going to have some text inside and the second one is going to have this check mark let's give this text a transition duration 300 and when you group hover you're gonna give it a margin on the right you're gonna create this little space on the right so that we can slide in the check mark let's give it a transform translate x3 which basically moves the check mark to the left by its original position and we're gonna set the opacity to zero which will make it invisible let's use transition 300 and when you group hover you're gonna move it back to its original position and we also gonna set its opacity to 100 percent so we can see it let's see and there you go and those were the 10 tailwind hover effects i hope you find it helpful and enjoyed it thank you for your time and see you in the next video